okay yes good evening everyone we will start with this uh, coordinate geometry chapter today as i told earlier i will be finishing this uh, chapter in two sessions that is one session for concepts one more session for numerical problems and as per the latest 2020-21 cbsc board announcement one concept from this chapter has been removed for you that is area of triangle but i will not skip it completely i will just tell you what is the concept that is related to finding area of a triangle and i'll just break the formula related to that all right so let's start with this coordinate geometry so please listen very carefully this is extremely easy chapter but there are tendencies to get confused in identifying the concepts or identifying some notes and important points so listen very very carefully okay so i have taken reference of a graph sheet and with respect to graph sheet i will be explaining you the concept so what it is what or what have you studied in your earlier class what have you studied in your earlier class maybe ninth standard with respect to coordinate geometry that you have studied about the location okay you have studied about the location of a point location of a point on a plane what do you mean by plane a plane means it is a two dimensional figure for example if i take a cardboard sheet cardboard sheet will have length and breadth so that means it has two dimensions so it is a two uh, dimension so that is called as a plane that is locating the position of a point on a plane so for this purpose okay for this purpose we require something called as coordinate axis okay coordinate axis so what type of coordinate axis are there so we have studied two types that is one is x axis and y axis so together they are referred to as axis the plural form okay so here what does it come or what how do we notify the point okay so the distance of a point the distance of a point from distance of a point from x axis so what do we call this or what is a technical term for this the distance of a point from x axis is called as ordinate okay is called as ordinate the distance of a point from the y axis what is it known as this is known as your abscissa this is known as your abscissa so distance of a point from x axis is known as ordinate okay or this is generally referred to as y coordinate the distance of a point from y axis is called as abscissa or x coordinate so here the confusion that can arise is the x axis the refer is y coordinate for y axis the refer is x coordinate okay so this is very very important same thing i will show you on a graph sheet now observe students so this is the graph sheet that i have taken so i have drawn so this is the graph sheet which for reference i have taken so this the reference is called as x axis so this is known as y axis when we discussed the from the chapter pair of linear equations also i had taught you on this okay where the two axes meet that is this point is known as what anybody what is this point known as this point is known as origin so what is origin the point where the two axes meet the point where two axes meet so the coordinates the together the coordinates together they are known as so our this will get the coordinates as 0 comma 0 that means it is the starting point whether i am measuring the distance uh, with respect to x axis or am i measuring the distance with respect to y axis 
both the reference will be 0 comma 0 from this point only all the measurements will be considered okay so this is x axis this is y axis then what is this known as this is known as the opposite side right opposite side of the origin that means this is the positive side of the origin or the right hand side of the origin is considered as positive and left hand side from the origin will be considered as negative that means this will be negative x axis similarly upward from the origin will be positive y similarly the downward from the origin will be negative y so i have to denote this as minus y axis so generally what do we do so our common uh, you know usages we will simply mark it as x like this and we will simply mark it as y like this but technically which is correct this is correct that is minus y plus y plus x minus x which simply means the directions and i had told you about the quadrant system also in first quadrant what had we discussed i had told you it will be both the values will be plus in second quadrant my x value will be minus but my y value is plus which is easily you can observe see minus one minus two minus three minus four all these are x values plus one plus two plus three plus four all these are y values which are positive so minus plus then in third quadrant both the values will be minus and fourth quadrant x is positive whereas y is negative yes students are you able to recollect this concept which i taught you earlier are you able to recollect this concept yes yes you can you can see the other other uh, notation or other practice is the minus x okay the minus x is equivalently put it as x bar and minus y is equivalently put it as y bar also this notation is also used that is correct please make a note of this quickly be quick please make a note of this i hope this is very very clear so observe now I said the distance of a point from x axis. Okay. So, which is x axis here? So, this horizontal line is the x axis. So, whatever distance, suppose you like, uh, think that I am taking this point. Okay. Are you all able to see this point? Okay. I am taking this point. So, I am just highlighting this. Okay. So whatever is the distance of this point from the x-axis, that means from here I have to measure the vertical distance. So how do I measure the vertical distance? From here I should drop a perpendicular on the x-axis. So distance of the point from this is known as y-coordinate. Okay. Similarly for the same point, whatever is its distance from the y-axis, okay, this distance. So how do I get that? I have to drop a perpendicular from here onto y-axis. So what do I observe? What is the distance from the y-axis? The distance from the y-axis is how much? It is 11 units. So that will come first, 11 comma. What is the distance of the point from the x-axis? Which I will observe here, it is 6. So I will write it as 11 comma 6. Are you able to understand this? Any doubts? I will repeat once again. The distance of a point from, this is the x-axis, right? This is the x-axis. So, distance of a point from the x-axis is known as y-coordinate, which is very, very evident from here. How many units? I'll count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is 8, not 6. It is 8. Similarly, distance of the point from y-axis. So, I'll count here. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, that is nothing but x-coordinate. So, this is known as abscissa and this is known as ordinate the mathematical terms understood now observe students all of you observe, 
Now, if I give you a point here on the x-axis itself, what is the distance of this point from the x-axis? Very important, listen. The point is present on the x-axis only. Okay, so what will be the distance of the point on x-axis from x-axis? What is the distance of the point which is present on x-axis from x-axis? Yes, it is zero. If the distance of the point from x-axis is zero, that means what is the answer for that? What is the answer for that? What do you mean by that? The ordinate will be zero. Am I right? Or abscissa size zero, which is zero. Yes, ordinate is zero. So what will happen? So what do I have to write down here? The very, very important point. What should I write down? The third point. The coordinates. The coordinates of a point on. What is the first sub part I have to consider? What is the sub first sub part? On. X axis. What will it be? On x axis, it will be x comma 0. Correct? On y axis, what will it be? 0 comma y. So if I consider a point over here, what is the distance? This distance is 5. That means it is from what is the distance from the x axis? It is 5. But what is the distance from the y axis? It is 0. So it will become 0 comma 5. Similarly, what will this become? 3 comma 0. So in general, 0 comma 5 for a point present on the y axis is represented as 0 comma y. So on y axis, it is 0 comma y. So in general, for a point present on the x axis is in general represented as x comma 0. Do you have any doubts? If you have any doubts, please unmute yourself and let me know. I'll clarify. This is the basic concept required for next two concepts. Is this clear to all of you? If yes, I'll move on. Sir? Yes. Sir, the graph thing also we must note down, no, sir. Yes, 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 please note down. And I will, I will share this uh, diagram, don't worry. Let's not waste time in this, okay? I will share you this content, whatever I have written at the end of the class only. Okay, sir. All right, shall we move on? No doubts? Others, Abdul, Anish, please, please be responsive. Bhargav, Chitra, Diksha, Diksha, okay. Vibha, Deep. Yes, please be responsive. Sparsha, yes, Sparsha. Do you understand Sparsha? Saumya, all the Saumyas. When I say Saumya, all the Saumya. Saumya, Budhya, Saumya, Rao. I said similar with Shreya also. We have multiple Shreya. Shreya, yes. Shreya, A and Shreya. Daksh also, similarly. Good. Good. No doubt. Good. Okay. Let's move on then. So, next is your distance formula. So, what this concept deals with? First, I would like to tell you that. Okay. So supposedly, okay, this is the location of your house. So I think this is how you draw the house, okay, fine. Then you take multiple roads. So from here, from in front of your house, then you come like this somehow, okay. Then you come like this, take multiple routes and finally reach the tutorials. Okay. 
so the button button tutorial is here this is your house and i ask what is the distance between your house and tutorials i'll ask this so in physics you have studied a concept that is distance versus displacement can anybody tell me what's the meaning can anybody tell me this dis distance versus displacement yes you have studied this distance versus displacement anybody unmute and let me know unmute and let me know so distance is the total length travel from one place to another but displacement is the short uh, minimum distance or the short route to what we take for that yeah, the yeah. distance between point a and point b right yes it's displacement correct correct all of you are correct see here basically if i have to tell from this house for tutorials whatever is the direct distance that is the shortest path that you can take obviously you can't take there will be so many buildings in between correct so many uh, trees and will all will come between so it's not possible so you take the route so whatever the route you take will become the distance that is the actual path travel but whereas the shortest distance or the path between point a to point b becomes the point b becomes the displacement so basically in distance formula you are going to calculate this okay you are going to calculate this so how do we do that so distance formula is based on pythagoras theorem so if you are well versed with pythagoras theorem distance formula becomes extremely easy so what is pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem is applicable for here uh, you know a right angle triangle So in a right angle triangle, square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of square of the other two sides, right? So now you observe if this is the shortest distance that I have to calculate, what I can do is I can make this into my just imagine, okay? I'm drawing this. I'm trying to make it imaginative for you. So you do this, convert it into a right angle triangle. So what did I do? I took this starting point. I took this ending point. then i drew these two lines such that they are perpendicular to each other so a b c now observe what this became this became a right angle triangle now i can measure this part i can measure this part i can easily calculate what is ab that means ab square is equal to ac square plus bc square so distance formula is based on this concept okay let us try to understand with help of an example So I have taken graph sheet here. So what I will do is before going for the derivation, I will take one actual question. Okay. So let me take this point. So what are its coordinates? Now tell me what are its coordinates? I have already drawn the graph. So what are its coordinates? Anybody? Seven comma six. Yes, seven comma six. How did I do? I travel from origin to the horizontal side. I reach seven. then i travel vertical side i'll reach 6 evident from here and here so this is 7 comma 6 now you consider this point so let me make this as a this is b yes now tell me for b how much is this distance comma 3 yes 3 comma 3 correct so this will be 3 comma 3 so what is my to find what is to find to find this i have to find out this distance correct try to find the distance between ab so what can i do observe see in a graph sheet everything is a square correct this is a square square means what every angle is 90 degree observe everywhere if you, any box you consider it is a square itself so what can i do i will just drop like this i will draw this i'll do the construction till where i'll do i'll do it till here then i go on the left hand side until i meet this see now this is a perpendicular so if this is a this is b i will make it as c now what happened this became a right angled triangle am i right 
right angle triangle yes, correct so for a right now what do i have to do it is very simple ab square is equal to ac square plus bc square but now some one question will come how do i find out how much is ac how do i find out how much is bc this question comes so for that what do i have to do it's very very simple it's observing in the graph itself see here how much is this distance can anybody tell me the total distance this distance centimeter. how much is this distance anybody seven units not seven, seven units seven. observe observe this is the confusion that i was telling earlier how much is this distance see for that what do i have to observe observe from here to here so six six sir yes it is six the count is six if you are getting confused i'll change the color i'll make it into green yes i want this much how much is this distance it is yes six, it is six sir. yes how much is this distance three, three sir then how much will be this distance three sir yes total of this six minus this will give me the distance which is three similarly for same thing how much is this distance seven yes this distance is seven i can count see one two three four five six seven seven then how okay. this distance because i want for this point how much is this distance yes it is three then how much will be this distance four and four minus three is equal to four. Just observe somebody's volume. Mister Ray. Priyanka, your voice. So now, what did I conclude? What did I conclude? Tell me. What did we conclude so now? Uh, four uh, units and the height is three units. Yes. How much is my AC? My AC is three. How much is my BC? BC is four. Then what will be my AB square? AB square will be three square plus four square. Am I right? AC square plus BC square. So what will be my AB? Final answer will be five. Five sir. Five. Five. Very Excellent. simple. Three square is nine. Four square is sixteen. Sixteen plus nine is twenty-five. Square root of twenty-five is five. Did you understand this? This is just an example I gave you. We I try to explain you with this example. So distance formula is based on Pythagoras theorem. Is that clear to everyone? Sure. Yes, sir. Yes. So now let us see the proof, the actual proof. Okay. So for that again, I have taken the graph sheet. But now what I will do is I will make it very very general. What do you mean by general? So this point I will consider point A, but I will make it as x1 comma y1. What do you mean by x1? X1 means from here. to here this distance is x1 from here to here is y1 then i'll take second point b this is x2 comma y2 what is the meaning this distance is x2 and this distance is y2 am i right any doubts am i right any doubts here no sir no now what do i have to do i have to join both the points what is my next aim see if this is the case this is 90 degrees this is also 90 degrees this is 90 degrees as well as this is 90 degrees that means basically i'm trying to find out the altitudes Right. Now, what do I have to do? I have to make 
this AB into a right angle triangle. I have to convert AB into a right angle triangle. So how do I do? I do a construction. That means I will draw this. So when I draw this, wherever the two lines meet, I will name it as C. Okay. So this point is A. As I have marked, I'll write it again here. A. This is B and this is C. So now observe. In triangle ABC, correct? Angle C is equal to 90 degrees. Okay. Now, how much is the total distance? How much is the total distance? So let me mark this. I'll mark this as P. I'll mark this as Q. Okay. So, how much is this total distance? How much is this, this total distance? It is Y2. Y2. Yes. How much is this distance? It is Y1. Why? Because QC is equal to PA. Am I right? QC is equal to PA. Why? What is the reason? Because why? What is the reason? ACQP is a rectangle. Am I right? Yes, yes. So then that means what will be QC is equal to? QC will be equal to Y1. They are parallel to each other. Then therefore what can I write? BC as what can I write? BC that is my this distance, required distance. BC is this whole distance minus this small distance. That means I can write Y2 BC minus Y1. To, yes. BQ minus QC. That is Y2 minus Y1. So this will be my first equation. Similarly on x-axis, what is this whole distance? That is nothing but this whatever I have marked. This part. Correct? X2. So let's mark this as origin O. X2. Correct, no? Yes, so sir. OQ is equal to OQ, this distance is equal to nothing but if I'll mark this as PQR, this point is R. OQ is equal to BR is equal to X2, correct? OQ means from origin to Q. OQ is parallel to BR. That means both will be equal. Am I right? Understood? Similarly, how much is OP? How much is OP? OP is this distance. How much is OP? X1. Yes, OQ is X2, but OP is X1. So OP is X1. That means what is my AC? What do I have to find out? AC. X2 minus X1. Yes, AC is equal to OQ minus OP. That means AC is equal to X2 minus X1. I think now everything is clear to you. Now I have got what is BC. I have got what is AC. It is very simple to find out what is AB. So what is AB is equal to? So what will be AB is equal to? AB is equal to under square root AC square plus BC square. So what will be the answer? So AB is equal to under root. AC square is nothing but X2 minus X1, the whole square, plus BC square, Y2 minus Y1, the whole square. This is the distance form. Understood, students? Anybody, any doubts? No, sir. Understood? No, sir. This is extremely easy yes, chapter, sir. as I told. Yes? No doubts. Please make a note of this. Quickly. Please make a note of this.
Please let me know once you are done writing. Yes, shall I continue? Yes, sir. Okay. So the next part is section formula. So for section formula also, I have taken the graph sheet, but I will explain you by taking an example first, okay? So, before taking an example, what I will do is, see, let, now we have studied that if this point is A, okay, if this point is A, let me mark it as X1, comma, Y1, okay, this point is B, let me mark it as X2, comma, Y2. So, I have got two points. So what I will do is I will join the points. Okay. Then what I will do is I will cut it here. Okay. I will cut it here. And the point where I cut this line, I will randomly take it as P and I will take it as X comma Y. The section formula, the aim of the section formula is to find out this. That is, you have to find the coordinates. How do you find out the coordinates? You find the coordinates such that they will mention you what is this distance and what is this distance that means they will say the point p point p divides the line the line joining points a and b in ratio what ratio m1 is to m2 so we don't know what is the ratio so randomly we have taken the number as m1 is to m2. So in when this is given, I have to find what is the coordinate of point P, that is this point, that is the point where the line AB is cut. So how do I do this is again I will use here, I will use the concept of similarity, that is the concept of similar triangles okay that so our previous chapter whatever we have learned in previous chapter will help you to understand this so what do i do is i will draw this perpendicular okay when i draw this perpendicular what is this distance this distance is y when i draw this perpendicular what is the distance y2 when i draw this perpendicular what is the distance y1 now can anybody tell me what is this distance when i draw this perpendicular can anybody tell me x, x minus x1 x1 minus what come again x minus x1 yes it is x minus x1 why because this entire distance is x as mentioned here and this distance is x1 so the remaining point that is let me make it as q so aq will be equal to x minus x1 similarly what will be this distance so let me mark it as c what will be this distance what will be pc is equal to the x2 minus x yes this entire distance is how much x2 so x2 minus x, that is this distance, will give me this small distance. So x2 minus x. So this will be x2 minus x. So let me note down. So what is aq? aq is x minus x1. So aq is x minus x1. What is pc? pc is equal to x2 minus x. Similarly, now tell me what is pq? 
what is pq this is the small distance how much is this total distance the total distance is y this small distance q part is how much i so minus me, y1 ah uh, let me mark this this is r this is s this is t that means this point of the perpendicular is r this point is s this point is t what do i have to find out i have to find out pq that means pq is equal to ps minus qs that is nothing but how much is ps ps is nothing but y minus how much is qs qs is nothing but y1 similarly i have to find out this small distance bc what will be bc is equal to bc is nothing but bt that is from this entire distance bt minus this distance that is ct how much is bt y2 how much is ct cd is equal to bps that means y any doubt students in identifying the distances any doubts please let me know no sir understood all of you yes sir yes yes paksha manish how about others joel g1 let me let me get one response daksh deepesh vishal rukmini priyanka nihalka are you all guys understood this have you all understood this yes yes sir okay fine so this is just you know uh, what we can say warm up this part for section formula whatever we have found out so far is just warm up the game has not started now it will start that means what i have to consider two triangles so which two triangles i have to consider i'll consider so i'll say consider triangle which two triangles apq uh. and pcb yes consider triangle apq and triangle pbc yes pbc now tell me how oh, what should i write angle aqp that is this angle is equal to angle pcb please follow is equal to 90 degrees am i right is equal to 90 degrees then angle paq is equal to angle bpc why i am giving you this but you should give me the reason why corresponding angles corresponding angles yes because my lines pc and aq are parallel that means corresponding they will fall under corresponding angles so if two angles are equal then what comes the conclusion triangle what should be the conclusion tell me triangle aqp similar to triangle pcb similar to a triangle aqp is similar to triangle pcb i should write in this order only if i write in any other order it is wrong triangle aqp is similar to triangle pcb so if two triangles are similar what is the conclusion yes if two triangles are similar then what is the conclusion the corresponding sides are in equal ratio corresponding sides are in equal ratio that means what will it come down to pa divided by bp is equal to aq divided by pc is equal to pq divided by bc am i right pq divided by bc Is that understood? Yes, sir. Now what do we have to do? We have to do the substitution for this ratio. So I will write that in next page. So just observe. Okay, I'll write the ratio again. So we got it as PA divided by BP is equal to AQ divided by PC is equal to PQ divided by BC. This one. 
Next. Yes. What is PA? What is PA? How much is PA? PA is nothing but M1. How much is BP? BP is nothing but my M2. So I will just write that. So PA is M1 divided by BP is M2 is equal to. How much is AQ? What do we have got AQ as? Our AQ is X minus X1. And what is our PC? What is our PC? X2 minus X. So X2 will, minus X. I will do the substitution. So X minus X1 divided by X2 minus X is equal to. What is PQ? PQ is nothing but Y minus Y1. Y minus. Yes. And what is my BC? Y2 minus Y. So I will do the substitution. Y minus Y1 divided by Y2 minus Y. Now observe how to go ahead. What is so, how to go ahead comes the question. So the question is what should I find out? What is the aim? Your aim is to find out X and your aim is to find out Y. So how do I do that? So for that you should see what are the informations given to you. So in this information, in this uh, ratio, whatever I have written, you know what is M1, this is given to you. M2 is also given to you. X1 is given to you. X2 is given to you, but unknown is X. So what can I do? I'll just consider the first two ratio. That is M1 divided by M2 is equal to X minus X1 divided by X2 minus X. If I solve this by cross multiplying, I will get what is X. Similarly, M1 is given to me, M2 is given to me. Y is unknown, but Y1 is given, Y2 is given, Y I have to find out. So I will consider that also separately. So before considering these two, I will simplify this first. So what do I have to do? I should just do cross multiplication. So M1 into X2 minus X is equal to M2 into X minus X1. So that is, is equal to open the brackets M, M1 X2 minus M1 X that means M1 X2 in minus M1 X is equal to M2 X minus M2 X1 M2 X minus M2 X1. Once I do this what should I do? I should consider the like terms on the same side that means x x are same so i will take it one side so i will take m1 x on right hand side i will take this term on right hand side so then i will take this term on left hand side then what will happen m1 x2 this is minus when it comes to left hand side it will become plus m2 x1 is equal to this is minus so when it goes to right hand side it will become plus m2 x plus M1X. What I will do is I will simply reverse this because I want the unknown on LHS. So M2X plus M1X is equal to M1X2 plus M2X1. Now what is common in this? X is common. M2 plus M1 is equal to M1X2 plus M2X1. That means what is X is equal to? M1X2 plus M2 X1 whole divided by M2 plus M1. I will just rearrange it and write therefore X is equal to M1 X2 plus M2 X1 divided by M1 plus M2. So similarly, similarly, if I consider these two, that is M1 divided by M2 is equal to Y minus Y1 divided by Y2 minus Y. And if I simplify this, what will be the answer? Y is equal to M1 Y2 plus M2 Y1 whole divided by M1 plus M2. So from here to here is your assignment. You must try and solve it. If you are unable to solve, you let me know. Everything is same. Same like this only. Understood? Did everyone understand this? Is it interesting? Yes, sir. Yes. Is it interesting to everyone? Or just Diksha? It's interesting, sir. Yes, good. So, from this chapter, 
what formula first formula is your distance formula so distance formula square root of x2 minus x1 plus uh, y2 minus y0 i mean x2 minus x2 plus square plus y2 minus y0 plus square under root then these two will come please note make note of this is that understood to everyone have you all written down yes sir yes so let's go to next part yes shall i go to next part just a minute okay sparsha i will upload this again don't worry if you miss something also means i will upload sir yes sir you said that you send the graph no so will you send in the app or the whatsapp group no i will send this entire whatever i have written in today's class i will uh, send it in whatsapp group okay sir and i will upload it in the app also as notes as you are running notes or you know what teacher taught like that so you will have that reference so for that reference you can keep it not an issue okay is it done Yes, sir. Done. Yes. The last concept of this chapter, as per pre-COVID syllabus, was this was also included. That is, area of a triangle. So I'll just tell you what is this concept, and I'll give you the formula. No derivation, nothing. This has been removed. Okay, this has been removed for you. It is not there. So need not worry much. Okay, but still, I'll just let you know. See, basically, you have studied formula of area of a triangle. So, what is area of a triangle formula? You have studied it as half into base into height. Okay. So, but for this, you need to know what is base and height. That means both need to be perpendicular to each other. So, if I give you this triangle, okay, A B C, then I have to draw a perpendicular. So, then only I can say the area of this triangle is half into B C into A D. but instead of this what if i give you the coordinates of the three vertices of the triangle so if this is a okay x1 comma y1 and this is b x2 comma y2 this is c x3 comma y3 that means if i join the points so i got a triangle abc so what if i give you the coordinates the coordinates of vertices of a triangle in this case what is the area of the triangle okay this is the concept all right so this is the concept so the area of triangle there is a formula just remember if you are just only for you know studious studious sake i am giving this okay the area of the triangle is given as half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 this is something called as cyclic okay cyclic so how do i remember this formula if this was there i would have taught you this 
a shortcut way of remembering this a shortcut way of remembering this to still i will tell you is a observation okay this is called as observation so what we make is we make something called as uh, a clockwise triangle okay clockwise that means so if this is a this is b this is c okay what i will do is i will make x1 here x2 here and x3 here that means x1 is between a b x2 is between b c x3 is between c a so x1 multiplied by what y2 minus y3 so 1 2 3 will come so if it is 1 2 3 then what should come 2 3 1 then what should come 3 1 2 so what should be this this should be x both should be y that means x1 into y2 minus y3 so minus symbol will come so plus x2 into y3 minus y1 again observe the circular format plus x3 into y1 minus y3 outside this half which should be there this is obvious question into that half into base into five again this is based on pythagoras theorem only i will repeat once again observe this is called as cyclic order this is called as something this term is called as cyclic order that means something which repeats in a circular fashion so observe one two three then two three one then three one two so if i give you four what should happen one two three four then what should happen two three four then three four then four i have to fill the remaining spaces so two three four one three four one two four one two three so this is one example how to remember this formula means this method so x1 into x1 into y2 minus y3 then x2 into y2 uh, y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 understood all right don't crack your head too much into this i'm just giving this as you know one extra interesting factor whatever we study should not be always boring for that all right yes fine. sir fine students understood okay yes sir so i will close the session here for today so we have studied all the concepts technical terms related to this chapter now so tomorrow i will be solving questions from your exercise first exercise and second exercise and i'll give you a few assignments also so you can solve those and then you can write a test so that you can be pakka with everything all right okay sir for a test on this chapter next i will tell when it is i will not tell you today i'll give you a surprise test so that you should be ready sir which chapter sir okay fine then i will upload this i will send you also okay bye bye any doubts you can message me later also